Hey everyone, what brings you to the desert today? Oh, let me introduce myself. My name is Aaron. You've probably met my brother Moses out here in the desert too. He's a little upset with me right now because I messed up big time. But let me tell you how it happened. Moses went up onto the mountain to talk with God and he was gone for a long time. And all of us who were traveling with him got really antsy. All throughout this desert journey, Moses had been leading us and then we found ourselves waiting and waiting for him. We were feeling worried. What if he wasn't coming back? Without a leader, we didn't have any direction. In a word, we felt lost. When the people started getting more and more restless, this is what they said to me in Exodus 32 and verse 1. We do not know what has happened to this man Moses who has led us out of Egypt. So make us a God to lead us. Now, I knew that this was a bad idea. We worship the God of our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. And something told me that God would not be pleased if we turned our attention to a different God. But we had been wandering the wilderness for so long and we couldn't see God. We couldn't even see Moses. It seemed comforting to create some sort of idol that we could see, you know? So I gave in. And this is what I did. I went around and I collected all the gold jewelry that people had. Then I stirred it all together and I melted it down. And it came out this cap. Then I showed it to the people and told them this was the God that had brought them out of Egypt. Clearly it wasn't, but the people were so into it. What could I do? We built altars and we organized an entire festival for our new God. The more we celebrated, the more we convinced ourselves that God and Moses had left us, but they hadn't. In fact, God heard the whole thing from that mountain and told Moses, about what we had done. This is what he said in Exodus 32. Hurry and go back down because your people whom you've led out of Egypt have sinned and rejected me. They have already left the way that I commanded them to follow. They have made a bull calf out of melted gold and have worshiped it and offered sacrifices to it. They are saying that this is their God who led them out of Egypt. God was not happy with what we had done, and he was ready to punish us for our actions. But my brother begged God to forgive us. This is what he said. Remember your servants, Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. Remember the solemn promise that you made to them to give them as many descendants as the stars in the sky and to give their descendants all the land you promised would be their possession forever. So the Lord changed his mind and he did not bring on his people the disaster that he had threatened. We know that this whole thing was a huge mistake. We were so lost, but instead of turning to God, we turned to the wrong things and hoped that it would save us. God had rescued us so many times before. They feel ashamed that we got so lost. I am grateful that God forgave us and helped us so to get back on the right track. And that is today's big idea. We can turn to God when we are lost. I think we should pray on that today before you guys break out into small groups. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, sometimes we feel so lost, confused, and worried. In those moments, it's easy to think that you were not there. But God, you were always with us. Before we turn to any other source, help us to turn to you and wait for you to guide us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, this is Aaron signing off. Have a great time in small groups.